and what is up welcome back to the channel quick video in here today so i was writing something right and this is just a thought i had and kind of just came rushing in and i kind of just started charting everything down putting it down you know pen to pad also if you're back in here let's hit that thumbs up and so i'm writing this thing and i'm like oh so that's really what it actually then means to live in the past and why i'll dive into it right now i said that is because essentially what i wrote is the 3d space is your past this world around you that you're living now the current situations people everything that you see around you this is the actual past your future then is the imagination and the thoughts you've had that manifested this past and the true present is then not a place in time but it is the state of being present within that future and this is what ties into the law of assumption so hear me out a little bit confusing but let me explain so your future in your imagination right these are all the things that you think about we got that part down now let's look at this thing that i'm talking about of being present and why being your present is actually a state of being for instance if someone tells me hey let's go out for dinner let's go out for drinks or something and i have money to go out with them but i also have bills to pay at the end of the month now what is going to happen to my thought process i'm going to be if i'm scared that i'm not going to be able to pay my bills if i go out spending money then i'm going to think of a situation even if it's in a split second the situation is going to be me in that future moment in my mind being short of cash to actually pay my bills so then my state of being is going to be that assumption and that fear of i'm not able to pay the bills so in my present state will be the fear of the future thought which will then generate the past which will manifest the current surroundings so everybody's always thinking in the future so this is why you can't really be living in the past and expecting to change things you know it reminds me of one of my friends who was telling me that you know ah, oh, they just aren't hiring right now hey you know in terms of looking for a job companies aren't looking for anyone you know it's tough times the same friend then goes for job um goes job hunting rather hey i got the interview i'm like great excellent what happens oh they didn't call me back so it's like you're trying to fix you're trying to warp this a moment that's already passed it's already passed in imagination you already set what is going to happen so this is what i mean by living in the past people will like someone but in their head they have all these insecurities of lack that they aren't good enough for the person and whatever then they try message them and invite them out or go on a date or something and they get turned down and all these things happen it's because you're trying to change the past rather than creating your new past which will be your future through imagination feeling in that present state of being of the wish fulfilled do you see where i'm going with this the only way to change what you see around you is by seeing it ahead in the future a feeling that state of it already being past which is your present state of being now it can get confusing do yourself a favor watch it again and you know while you're doing that hit the like button <laughs> and then share it with someone who needs to hear this because i know if so many people are living in the past they aren't utilizing their minds and their imaginations at all at all and i think what it comes down to little side note and i've said this before in some other videos but 
what I've said is that growing up in school, what one of the things that you would always be sort of scolded at was daydreaming. You'd be in class and you'd be daydreaming. And you just literally in your imagination, that's where it's fun in your imagination. Oh, and they tell your parents, oh, he's, he's a great kid. Very quiet, very still, but uh, he can dream. <laughs> he knows how to daydream. And so they put this stereotype on using your imagination that it's a bad thing and that it's lazy and that you're being distracted. They might even put you on some prescription medication. And so a lot of people now seem to not even think that that's even a possibility. That their life circumstances is only the thing that happens around them. And if they can't warp what they see in front of them, then that's it. Then that's over. I'm here to tell you that it's not. Go into your mind. See, play a mental movie of the wish already being fulfilled and how you would feel. That it's already come to pass. And then claim that. And watch your past change. That's all I've got to say today. If you liked it, hit the like button. And subscribe for more. I'm going to put these out. Um, very important. I'm very surprised. I could have wrote a whole article on this. But I thought I would just rather do a video on it. And thanks for watching. I'm out. Old videos are over there. there. Uh, subscribe over here. Peace.